Welcome to another Laughing Class Off. Thank you guys for coming out. This means so much to all the comics that are here. You guys give it up for yourselves for being here. That's great. Yeah! Woo! Um, the first time I heard about the games room, I think it was my freshman year here. I knew that there was a place on campus where there was like an arcade and video games and stuff, but I didn't exactly know what was inside it. Uh, I never stepped foot inside of it. That the town mega row frat was a bunch of guys, like a bunch of you know jockey guys wearing tight t-shirts that say top on them. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like every time I see a group of them, I just want to wear like a pink t-shirt and short shorts, and the t-shirt says bottom on it, just to keep them on the edge. <laughs> and then. Um, I knew about the game room, you know, now, um, but the comedy show was something uh, I reached out and I, since I started comedy, I thought, you know, what the heck, right? Give it a try. <laughs> uh, I, I've gained a lot of, a lot of skills, actually, as a, a college counselor, uh, especially empathy skills. Uh, for example, after, after sex with a woman now, I turn to them and I go, learn from this mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave your drinks with strange men. <laughs> you you will bomb. It's just it's like it's like playing poker, right? You will lose a hand, um, and part of the experience is embracing it. For me, I've learned to always just just be honest with the audience. You know, I'll tell a joke and it totally falls on its butt, and I was like, wow, that was a terrible joke. I take full responsibility for that. And usually when you're honest with the audience, they, they quickly get back on your side. You know, and then you can move on. A guy comes in, right? He, got some, he has a D in chemistry and an F in biology, right? He wants to be a doctor. Look, do you guys want your doctor to have an F in biology? Do you guys? No. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, we also have like what we call savior jokes, right? Jokes that we kind of keep in the pocket where uh, if you do hit a joke that's flat, falls flat, you can pull out a savior joke really quick and get your audience back on. I used to. <laughs> I used to think, how am I going to dig my way out of this one? But then I thought, I don't care. <laughs> like, whether they like it or not, I'm just going to say what I think is funny. And it, some crowds are different. Like, this show, it's a lot of uh, younger uh, students, like 18, 19, mostly freshmen, sophomore, and they're not used to going to comedy shows. <laughs> And as he went to the nurse to get a wet paper towel to put on it, I took his answers. That's right, an elementary school version of a liquor store robbery is how black I am, you guys. You guys gotta lighten up. <laughs> like, it's a Friday night, and you obviously weren't invited to any parties. 